Hello everyone and welcome to this video where I will show you how to create a live coronavirus dashboard in Excel like the one provided here. At the top, the Corona Charts website provides summary statistics such as the number of confirmed cases, deaths, recoveries and active cases. Below it has a heat map which graphically depicts the coronavirus cases throughout the world. As you can see, the countries with the most cases such as the US are highlighted bright red while the countries with no cases are highlighted blue. We can also hover over certain countries to get a better idea of their respective statistics. Below we also have a table which ranks countries based on their cases and a few graphs. However, for the purposes of this video, we will focus on creating summary statistics and the live coronavirus heat map in Excel. To do this, let's start by opening a coronavirus tracking website, and I've chosen to use this one here because it provides a comprehensive table with up-to-date statistics. We're going to copy the link, and then we're going to open a new Excel workbook. Once it is open, click Data, click From Web, and then paste the link here. We're then going to select Table 0, as it contains all the values that we need, and then we're going to click Load. Once the data is loaded, it should look something like this. If we go all the way down, you'll see that we're provided with a bunch of totals which provide us with the summary statistics. So let's open a new sheet and use this data to populate our dashboard. For our summary statistics, we want the total confirmed cases, total deaths, recoveries and active cases. So let's add these as headings. So firstly, confirmed, deaths, recovered and active. Next, we can use the data in the other sheets to retrieve these summary statistics. For the confirmed cases, we're going to take this value over here, which is in the total cases column. For the total deaths, we're going to take this value over here, which is in the total deaths column. For the recoveries, it's going to be this value here. And for the active cases, it's going to be this value over here, which is in the active cases column. Next, we can format these cells to make them look more visually appealing. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to change the font color to orange. So let's go Alt H F C, and then we're going to go into more colors and we're going to select this color over here. Click OK. We're then going to make this top row bold by clicking Control B. And we're also going to center align all of these by clicking Alt H A C. We can then also change the font size by clicking Alt H F S and let's go for 18. Now you'll notice that these do not fit into the columns. So to change the column width, we can do Alt O C W and let's go for a column width of 16. Now, a final thing you may notice is that these two cells have commas while these two do not. And to change this, we can highlight all of them, click Control Shift 1, and you'll notice that here we're provided two extra decimal places, which is why the value here is not shown. Now to get rid of these, we can click Alt H9 twice. So let's do that now. There we go. We can now move on to making our heat map. To do this, we're going to enter the Insert tab, click on Maps, and select this icon here. Our map is still empty because we have not selected any data. To select data, let us right click on the map and click select data. We're then going to enter the sheet which contains our data. Here we're going to first select all of the countries. We can do this quickly by clicking Control Shift and the down arrow. We then want to select the total cases at the same time. To do this, we're going to press down the Control button and select the cases which apply to the country selected. Once this is done, we can click OK, and there is our heat map. To change the colors, we can enter Page Layout, click on Colors, and I'm going to choose this custom color set over here. Finally, we're going to resize our map, and we can maintain the aspect ratio by pressing down the Shift key. We also want to remove the legend and the chart title for design purposes, so we can simply untick those. So now our heat map is looking pretty good. As you can see, the countries with the most cases are highlighted bright red, while the countries with fewer cases have a more pink colour. When we hover over certain countries, you'll notice that we're provided with the exact number of cases, just like in the Corona Charts website. 
However, while our dashboard is perfectly functional, we need to take a few steps to make it look nicer. Firstly, let us remove the borders of the map by right clicking on it, selecting format chart area and selecting no line. Next, we want to remove grid lines and we can do this by clicking Alt W V G or alternatively, you can enter the view tab and untick the grid lines box. Finally, we want to add a title and we're going to call this COVID-19 update. We're going to want to change the font size of the title to 26 and we're also going to want to add a background color over here and let's make this orange. So that's how you can easily make a coronavirus dashboard in Excel with summary statistics and a heat map. Now since our data is linked to a website, our dashboard will update in real time. If you want it to refresh, you can simply click on the data tab and click refresh all. This brings us to the end of this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.